No one should invest resources to effect change without first analyzing the problem, seeking to identify root causes, and continuously evaluating outcomes of interventions as they happen. Community research and action has a cyclical nature that never really ends. In community psychology, we don't love theory or intervention that lacks empirical evidence, or haphazard research that does not center the interests of the community in which it is based. Do you want to change something? Great. Start with some research first, because you need to look into root causes, to find out why this problem is how it is. Make sure you have cultural humility and that you are seeing the situation clearly. Once you know something about the causes, you might with community members' involvement begin an intervention, but you need to have measurable outcomes, so that you can know whether you are accomplishing anything. Then you need to evaluate whether you have done any good, or caused harm and made things worse, mindful always that there may be radiating effects in community research, often unanticipated, because of our interrelatedness. The purpose of evaluation is to modify interventions. The important thing is that any intervention be grounded in research, not based on somebody's good ideas and that all interventions are continuously evaluated, refined, improved upon and, if necessary, stopped. Last but not least, remember that no research is value-free. Everything we do is influenced by our values, preconceptions, life experience, and context. Therefore, conclusions drawn from social research must include considerations of this context for the data. This does not make our analysis less rigorous but more so, as we discuss the values and community issues that affect the research, so that we can best interpret findings. What is community psychology? Check out the 10 core principles explained by us.